The Victorian government has introduced a raft of measures aimed at clamping down on dangerous dogs, including pit bulls. The changes follow the fatal mauling of a four-year-old girl at St Albans early this month. But as Anna Macdonald reports, the opposition says the amendments are weak and will do little to prevent future deaths. From tragedy comes change. I'm happy that the issue of our little girl has become a turning point. Ian Chol was mauled to death by a pit bull cross a fortnight ago. Today the government rushed through changes to the Domestic Animals Bill, giving owners four weeks to register their dangerous dogs or face consequences. After the 30th of September, any restricted breed type dog that fits that standard uh, will be, uh, that is not registered will be seized and destroyed by councils. A hotline has been set up for the public to dub in the owners of dangerous unregistered dogs and pit bull crosses are now on the restricted list. There is no new offence, there's no new penalties, there's no new resources. Uh, it's a very light on package. But the government says it plans on introducing tougher legislation in two weeks that could see owners face criminal charges. So if that dog commits an offence where it injures or in worst case actually kills someone, uh, they'll have a charge against them similar to the charges of dangerous driving and culpable driving. One issue the government can't seem to control is that of Liberal backbencher Jeff Shaw. The former bouncer went out of his way to avoid the cameras today, a week after he was accused of involving himself in an altercation outside his Frankston electorate office. I'm going to spend some time with Jeff this week but uh, he's given me assurances and that's uh, up to him. While police continue to investigate the matter, it's likely Mr Shaw will do his best to stay out of the spotlight. Anna MacDonald, ABC News, Melbourne.